Between being a new homeowner, a newlywed, and a new business owner, Mallory Hammer is a busy woman. We're making t-shirts and uh, note cards and notepads and honey and we're doing lotions and lip balms. We've made some lip balms, yeah. She's got a lot of ideas and she has a lot of thoughts and so she gives a lot of directions <laughs> on how she wants things done. It's good. I'm bossy. You're bossy, a little bit bossy. Flourishing in faith. The name of Mallory's new pop-up shop is a nod to everything God has brought her through in the last three and a half years. The bright young woman was left with an anoxic brain injury after a routine dental procedure. Mallory was taken to Stormont Vale Hospital in Topeka, where doctors offered her family little hope for recovery. It wasn't seizures, but it was a state of, she'd been hurt, you know, and it was, uh, her reaction to it was kind of, it was hard to, uh, to watch and be part of. We ended up in KU Med Center for two and a half, three weeks. Uh, we knew that wasn't gonna, it was going to be a hard road. A hard road leading to Madonna's Omaha campus. Early on, Mallory was in a minimally conscious state, leaving her unable to walk, talk, or eat on her own. Madonna's brain injury specialists, experts in disorders of consciousness like Mallory's, used sensory stimulation to increase her responsiveness. It was just trying to get her awake, and that was... That was tough to watch, but as she progressed, it uh, became more exciting and her therapist got excited. Progress was measured in small victories, written down by Mallory's mom in a joy journal. We need to start keeping a, a joy journal of some of the good things that were happening, and even if it was that, you know, she opened her eyes, or maybe even if it was what nurse she had that day, or. Um, and the first time she said, Mom, I have that in the journal. So we we still we still keep the journal. But it's just fun to look back and to see all the visitors that came and the packages that came and the letters and just the, thanking God for the joys that he had brought in her life. Despite the uncertainty of her diagnosis and future, Mallory's care team saw the spark in her. Tyler, one day he came and he said, uh, he took me aside and he said, she's in there, I can tell. And we weren't sure that she was going to cognitively be there. and. Uh, the fact that she was, that, that's when it got exciting for us to do everything we can to get her back out and uh, get her to where she was. Holy smoly, gee. Mallory set a goal to walk down the aisle and say her own vows at her wedding to Kyle. Her care team worked diligently with her to achieve that goal. I missed the boy. As death did not. As death did not. Tear us apart. Tear us apart. It only made us. <laughs> it only made us. Closer. Closer. I have been working on several plans not as if I was really happy I got to say them. <laughs> and I just have been a good job. Since the eight months she spent at Madonna, Mallory hasn't flown down on her road to recovery. When she's not working on her business, she continues to do outpatient physical, occupational, and speech therapy six days a week. She's also remodeling her home and finishing her final semester of college at Emporia State University. She graduates uh, in December. She'll walk, hopefully she'll walk in. I will walk across that stage, that's her plan.